Well, good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, April 1st, and I wanted to bring you a psalm from Psalm 94, verse 19. Psalm 94, 19. This is what the psalm says. When I am filled with cares, and boy, we have a lot of cares right now, don't we? We have concerns over our health. We have concerns over our finances. We have concerns over our mobility. We have concerns for loved ones. We have concerns over our jobs. We have concerns over the economy. We can keep going and going and going with concerns that we have, and that would bring us down. So we can really understand what this psalm says in Psalm 94. When I am filled with cares, put your care in there, your comfort brings me joy. So where does our comfort come from? Our comfort comes from God. The your in this verse is, God, you will bring me comfort. You will bring me joy. And amidst the trials and amidst the cares, that doesn't mean the cares will stop. But when we have cares, when we have trials, we can receive comfort from the Lord. And that comfort brings us joy. That comfort may come through a phone call. That comfort may come through a text. That comfort may come through a box of groceries dropped on your doorstep. That comfort may come from an email. The comfort can come from many different ways, and God can use many different people to bring us comfort, but ultimately our comfort from Him will bring us joy. So let me read this verse for you again. When I am filled with cares, God, your comfort brings me joy. And so that's my prayer for, for you today as you watch this, as we have cares, as we have concerns, that you will receive the comfort from God and then that comfort will bring you joy. And one way we can do this is to begin to think about what we have, about the things that we have in our life that do bring us joy. So what are you thankful for today? Instead of stopping about what we don't have, why don't you stop and think about things that do bring you joy? What are the things that you do have that can bring you joy that come from God? Count your blessings and name them one by one.